Today's video is Full Face of Elf. Subscribe. Elf. We got the goods. So I think that this is gonna be really good. I really, really do. So I have quite a bit of stuff here, but the reality is, is I'm still missing stuff. I don't even know. We're just gonna see, you know. So the first thing, y'all already know I do my brows first. And so I have the e.l.f. Ultra Precise Brow, Brow Pencil. And this is in the shade Brunette. This is the darkest one that I saw there. And I'm hoping that it works and it isn't too red. That's, that's all I'm hoping because it looks warm and I am afraid. But I'm just gonna go through my brow process right quick and we are going to find out if this brunette brow pencil works. In person, like, I don't know, I can't, my monitor's over here, so when I turn to the side and look in my mirror, I can see a little bit of product, right? But face on, the product disappears. And I'm so, <laughs> cause when I turn my head, I see it over here, but then it, that means it's not dark enough, right? Brow pencils must be, it's just always something, you know? I feel like brow pencils just must be hard, like. I just feel like it must be so hard to do brow pencils. But I am going to use my Anastasia pencil to do my brows right quick and then I'll be back and we'll continue. But I need brows though, I can't move on. Okay, so I have my brows on. Thank you, Jesus, cause you know, that pencil. <laughs> Maybe I need to get a different color. I'll try it out one day, but no. Okay, so I already primed my face, but I'm going to do eyes first. Uh, before foundation this time because I have something special that I'm going to be using so for eyes what I'm going to be using today that's coming from elf is going to be their shadow um no liquid glitter eyeshadow in the shade mermaid shimmy and this is what it looks like I hope you can see how pretty that is it is green but yeah that's what we're going to be using so first I'm going to use one of their concealers to prime my eyelids and I'm gonna take um, Deep Chestnut because it's the brightest one. And this is a very good thing or trick to use if your eyelids are pretty dark. I know mine are darker than the main area of my face. So this is really good to use to cancel out the darkness. Okay, so to put some color in my crease, I'm going to take the Transition Palette by Dominique Cosmetics. I use this faithfully. Every single time I do my makeup, I use it every, every time. Whether it's for a contour or anything, it's just, Get this palette, you need it all the time, you need it. But I'm going to take the shades right here that I use the most. I'm going to start with cinnamon and coffee beans and I'm going to drag those in my crease and I'm gonna take those pretty far out cause I do want like a cat eye. Okay, so I'm reading the directions. It said apply to the eyelid with your applicator and then blend using your fingertips or a flat eyeshadow brush. Wear alone or as a topper to amplify an eye look. So today we're gonna do a loan. Oh gosh, it's gonna be so good, I just know. So I'm just gonna apply this on my mobile lid. I'm gonna get it pretty far in and then blend with fingertips. I'm gonna take this in more. It's pretty. Okay, I'm gonna put this on my other eye and then we're gonna come back with one more eye product. And then we're gonna, once we do the eye products, we'll add lashes and then We'll move on, but girl. Okay, it is dry for the most part. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go ahead and use the next product. So I have the H2O proof, waterproof eyeliner pen, and this is in the shade Jet Black. So we're going to do a small wing liner, and I've never used an eyeliner pen from e.l.f. before. So girl, I'm excited. And it's a felt tip. We have a mascara, y'all. So this is the Length and Volume 
black waterproof mascara from elf i usually don't make a big deal about mascaras you know mascaras are mascaras but let's throw this on length and volume okay i can see the volume for sure see the volume very nice okay now i have lashes brb okay so we got our lashes on i love these lashes they do me right every time these are let me hit the trash i mean the box of the trash <laughs> sorry these are the i envy luxury mink 3d lashes they are straight out of the beauty supply store and they're in the style zero one okay zero one these are like one of my favorite lashes ever for real i love these lashes they're so fluttery and wispy and like they're just fluffy and i just love that so now we're going to get into foundation now i don't know if y'all remember if you og you know i used to use elf foundation all the time and i used to mix these two shades together <laughs> I almost didn't really remember what shades I used to get. I feel like they took one of the shades I used to mix out. I didn't see it on the thing on the, in the lineup. I was just like, I just don't feel like this is the one. But we're going to do this today. I already knew one of them was Mocha because I remember buying it and was like, why is this so dark? Like, this is so dark and lovely. And I wish I was this complexion, but it's too dark. <laughs> and so I bought another shade. I don't remember if the shade was caramel, but this is caramel. And so this is what we're going to be mixing today. There was another shade called Chocolate, but the description of that foundation was red undertoned. And so I'm scared. Like, Kenny, quiet down. So I'm going to mix these two together. It looks promising. So, And the formula of this foundation is so beautiful. The finish is beautiful. It's not too anything. Like, I don't really know how to describe it, but it's not too mad. And it's not too dewy. It's so just creamy and, like, whippy. It's really nice. I really like the formula. Okay, I added a whole lot more mocha in there. So hopefully this is good enough, but I think I've got it. And y'all know what we're using to blend out our concealer. Don't play with me. I really, I mean, I obviously wouldn't prefer to mix my foundation, but this foundation is $6, so I don't really care because two of these still don't compare to the price of one of my good high-end foundations like they're still not even half the price so in that case i don't mind okay i don't mind building it up here it's looking good now as far as concealer i've been using their concealers i use it on days where i'm really not trying to use anything expensive but still something that'll hold me and so i'm sure you guys have heard of these um if not from me somewhere else because these are really really good well formulated concealers so these are the 16 hour camel concealer matte finish concealer a little bit sis do something to my hair tonight after we take your pictures okay <laughs> why you look like that i got practice in savannah tonight Savannah. Yes. For Manny's thing. I told you that yesterday. I'm about to call him for my last four minutes to see what he got. Because I might come with you, sis. Okay. 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 <laughs> so I'm going to put on deep cinnamon first, and then I'm going to highlight afterward with my deep chestnut. And we will go from there. Okay, I'm going to take uh, the rich chocolate one, actually, and use it for my upper lip and chin. I don't want anything too bright there. Okay, so let's get into this right quick because I've never used anything like this in these. Kenny. So these are called the Putty. This is their Putty products. It's a putty bronzer. I got the shade, what shade is this? This is the shade, it's the one, it's the first one from the darkest one. I was getting the darkest one because I'm just like, I feel like that would be going too far. Let's go ahead and blend this concealer out. Oh my God, it's gonna be crazy. This is so good. These are such good concealers. Oh gosh, that's so nice. So nice. Coverage is nice. It's just nice. So good. How dare I not even mention this is the Elf sponge. Y'all already know I have 10 of these at this point. This is so good. Are you kidding me? Like, are you kidding me? I'm so excited. Putty bronzer? What does that even mean? Okay, I don't want to touch it. I hope this shows up on me. Oh, I should have got the darkest one. Because this is so close to my skin color. 
Oh gosh, y'all, this is my skin color. And I feel like it's lifting my foundation a little bit. No. Oh my gosh, I have to get the darkest one in this. I wanna try it. It's just not bronzing me up. It's not bronzing me up. We do have a putty blush and I've never used a, like any other type of blush besides a powder blush. I'm gonna take my bright, beautiful highlighting concealer. I'm gonna put a little bit right next to the nose. So, putty blush, look at how this looks. It looks so intense, I'm scared. And we're gonna start, all right. So I'm using a brush, I'm scared, I'm scared. How does this even go? I don't know anything about this. Y'all see it? Oh my God. I'm probably gonna love this. I'm probably going to end up loving this. And that's it, right? That's how it works. That's how it goes, right? Okay, good. Because I'm scared. Like, what? What is that? <laughs> I didn't get any setting powders. I looked at the finishing and setting powders that they had in Ulta, at least at the time. Everything was light. And I was just like, I can't do that. So I'm gonna use my normal powders and I will be right back. Okay, so we're set. We're blushed. Okay. We're contoured. We're, we're, we're bronzed. All right. And now the lips. So I'm just gonna line, this is NYX Dark Brown. What we're gonna be using today is the e.l.f. Plumping Gloss. And I have another one of these in another shade and it does a little tangle. And you know, it's supposed to plump up the lips a little bit. Not that I need it. Here you go, baby. And this is called Champagne Glam. Mm. This is so nice. So we got the Bite Size Face Duo and this is in the shade Coconut. I literally got this because of the highlight side. We'll dig into that. Let's see what we got. Um, it looks chunky. I'm scared. Okay. Um, no, no. I'm gonna spray first. Let me get my spray. So the spray, this is the Elf Makeup Mist and Set. This is what. This is literally what I've been using lately. Like. As of late, this is all, this is the only spray that I've been using. And it just makes everything seep into the skin. The spray is a little aggressive. Um, that's the only thing that I would probably change about it, but it's a really good spray. Let's try it. Let's try it again. Instead of using circular motions, I'm just going to pat it on top of the skin. Because, no. It's so chunky. It's just so chunky. I don't like this, y'all. So yeah, I went in with, I turned my lights down a little bit so you guys can see. Let me finish getting myself together and then when I come back, we'll close it out and we will discuss and reconvene. Anyway, so the pencil. And then, um, so the highlighter, it was just really chunky. I don't recommend that actually. I don't, I don't, mm -mm. I, I just don't recommend it. You should have a highlighter that's like really smooth, a little cream to it, so it'll act as a sheen on the side. Um, yeah, nothing chunky or glittery. I, uh, I really don't recommend that. But everything else was fine. I'm really shocked with the eyeliner pen. That impressed me the most. The glitter shadow is beautiful. Okay, the foundation has been bomb. I didn't even need foundation and concealer. I didn't even need any assurance about those because I'm pretty experienced with those and my favorite product of today is the lip gloss because y'all know I'm a big lip gloss person and I really love it and so this will probably become my everyday I'll probably get two more of these because once I get it once I get hooked on a lip gloss I use a lot like I just I keep on going and I can't stop but yeah um, I hope you guys enjoyed be sure to comment below some brands you would like me to try other than that, I'm just going to keep on flowing and keep on going. Um, maybe next time we could do a high-end brand. That would be cool. The coins come on in. They come in right. We'll be bougie next time. I'm trying to get used to this. I really, really am. I don't want to snatch it out of my head. I want to give it a chance. I want to give it a chance. But, um, yeah, I love y'all, and I will see y'all in the next video, okay?